guys. My first uh, card show. I was going to film the entrance, but um, we had to do the COVID stuff, so we're going to kind of roam around with the girlfriend here and see what the hell we can find. So uh, let's see what we got, guys. Alright guys, we just left, left with some goodie bags here, we left out the entry and I got only, and the girlfriend got a little Aaron Rodgers card. Because it's pretty. It's pretty. Go Pack Go! <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Good time. Salute to Hoops guys, welcome back. Another day, another video. Hope you guys enjoyed the card show. That was my first ever card show that I ever went to, and uh, I can't lie, I had a really good time. 
and hopefully I can go back. I was there with the girlfriend. She was in town, and I found out that there was a local one that occurs every, like, uh, first Saturday of the month, I believe. So we went, and it was definitely a blast. So definitely going to be doing that again for sure. Uh, I wanted to go over the, the cards that I got from the card show, guys, uh, before I get into it. Uh, if you guys could please subscribe if you haven't done it already. Uh, we are well on our way to 150 subscribers, which I'm hoping to reach soon. So if you guys haven't done so already, please subscribe and let your friends know what's going on at the Salute the Hoops channel. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you. And let's just get into it. So uh, the first cards I'm going to mention are all cards that I bought uh, in the 50 cent box. Sorry, the 10 cent box. Uh, and they're all going to be kind of various players, obviously. A lot of guys that I was a big fan of when I was a kid. So will there be any value to them in the future? We don't, I really don't know, but uh, they're just some cool cards that I found. So we're going to start off with these guys right here. Just a stack of Allen Iversons. Just some chrome ones right here. There's really no notable ones. I do love the uh, the chrome cards when I can find them. For sure, they're just a just a cool card overall, no matter what player. I believe I have a Kwame Brown one in one of my past videos. So, uh, But definitely a cool card nonetheless. Excellent series for sure. Definitely uh, some older Allen Iverson. I mean, we're not talking about like first or second years here. Uh, but the, this is like the Allen Iverson that I remember when I was a kid, just killing it in the league, leading the, that awkward 76ers team to the uh, finals against the Lakers where they got demolished. But cool cards nonetheless. For 10 cents a pop, you can't go wrong. Second ones we got here are going to be a bunch of Paul Pierce ones, all chrome as well. And also similar to the Allen Iversons, they're not like super like... Uh, they're not like first or second years or anything like that. We're talking like 2003, 2004, and then 2007, 2008, Paul Pierce. But primetime Paul Pierce for uh, 10 cents each, and they're all tops chromes. Definitely will take that any day for sure, no doubt about it. Paul Pierce, baby, legend in his own right. <laughs> Next, we got some uh, some Yao Ming's. I believe I picked a few of his cards up uh, in one of my last videos as well. Uh, these are all chrome too, except for just the regular base tops. Uh, but these are all like second, just this, this is the one second year, and then all the rest are like third year Yao Ming's. So I think we'll see him in the Hall of Fame at some point for sure, uh, with just of how much of an impact he had on the NBA. And... Although he was only here for a short time, he was probably the best, tallest player to ever play in the NBA. I mean, Yao Ming, once he got used to like the NBA game, he was pretty much a beast. So, Next, we got some Ray Allen here, guys. Um, the Fleer Focus card is a pretty dope-looking card. It's like a canvas-type feel. And this is a 98-99 Ray Allen, but all the other ones are going to be like 2003-2004 Ray Allen, which is still... Cool nonetheless, primetime Ray Allen on the Supersonics jersey in the top chrome. Can't go wrong, guys. Call me crazy, but for $0.10 cents each, I was like, yeah, I'm just going to buy all these. I believe, uh, as far as the $0.10 cent cards go, I believe I only paid 7 bucks total. So, can't really go wrong with that at all. Next, we have some Tracy McGrady's, just three of them. Uh, Houston Rockets Tracy McGrady, which was still a beast. Uh, I definitely liked uh, Orlando Magic Tracy better. But Houston Rockets Tracy McGrady was also a beast as well. These are also Topps Chromes. And these are uh, 04, 05 Tracy McGrady. So a legend also in his own right. Uh, and one of my favorite players to ever play the game. Also one of the best players to never win a championship. Which sucks because that year on the Spurs, I thought he was going to actually win a championship. He ended up retiring, and then the Spurs won it next year. <laughs> so it kind of sucks. Paul Pierce, sorry, Paul, uh, Chris Paul, excuse me. Uh, this is a third year Chris Paul. Uh, no real reason why I got this other than the fact that he switched teams, obviously, was traded to the Suns. 
recently and I think that I might be able to get more than 10 cents for this at some point during this year. Next, we have some two Dennis Rodman cards. They're really not of note or anything like that. It's Chicago Bulls, Dennis Rodman. Uh, the most famous Dennis Rodman that we all know, obviously. I'm a huge Dennis Rodman fan, which is why I picked these cards up. Moving on, we have a stack. That is right, a literal stack of Kevin Garnett's. Uh, for the most part, I'll just show you guys all these. They're all uh, like second year Kevin Garnett's. And when I was a kid, I was a huge Kevin Garnett fan. And with his recent induction, I believe, into the Hall of Fame, we might see some value in these at some point. But if you were a kid back in like the early 2000s, you already know Kevin Garnett was, was definitely a beast in the league for sure. Next, I won't open all these, but I got a stack of uh, Dante DiVincenzo Optics. For 15 bucks, I believe there, I think there was eight of them in here. So eight or nine of them. I, I really think that uh, DiVincenzo is going to be a starter this year at that shooting guard position for the Bucks. So we'll see if those have any value. These were four for 10. So I got the PJ Washington laser. Nice little Brandon Clark optic. Little Darius Baisley, Donruss rookie. And then another DiVincenzo optic. Moving on to the last ones, guys. We got a stack of Matisse Thibault's. All of these I got for four bucks each. And I mentioned Matisse in my last video. I really think that he's going to be a player that we see a lot more of this year in his sophomore campaign. So for four bucks for a Prism rookie card, I figured this is probably a solid deal. I, I really believe in the kids, so we'll see if the investment pays off. The best part about this, guys, is that I gave myself a limit of $100 while going to this card show and only spent 80 to include the card that I bought for my girlfriend, that Aaron Rodgers card that you saw at the end of the clip there. So we still had enough uh, money left over for some, for some lunch afterwards, which was a win in my book. So, yeah, just wanted to go over what I got at the the show guys hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys enjoyed the pickups um, i'm really gonna try to make it back to that show uh next month for sure so hopefully i can get some more footage for you guys don't forget to follow me on instagram guys boom here at salute to hoops and i will see you guys in the next video where we'll be opening up some prism mega box so thanks for watching guys see you next time